then we'll just adjust the, 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 the throttle, so to speak, on the front control valve for what we see coming on the road. We'll just get a nice, light, even coating. Uh, the groove cleaner will do its job on the entry side and clean the room, and then we'll adjust how we, how we do the flow. But uh, this really, in case you're wondering, really isn't a discharge tube. You're not going to have grease coming out of it. The grease is going to come out that far when I shut the pump off. Then we start the travel and I open the, road, the pump back up. And it won't come, be coming back out of here anymore after that. It'll follow the rope. Uh, grease always follows the easiest path. Don't tighten these down before you clamp this thing onto the rope. The holes right here are oversized for the bolts. So what'll happen is, if you go tighten this down on these scrapers, you can tighten them down so that the scraper's pushing too far that way. Yeah. And you go to tighten it down and it won't tighten all the way around the rope. Because it's hitting here first. So these are the last things you tighten. If you tighten them, you've got one hand off. yesterday with a set of calipers make sure even though you, you got a list or something or a spec somewhere that says you got 32 millimeter rope or whatever get a pair of calipers and mic the rope real quick because if you've got a rope that's a, a millimeter or two too big for the seal kit in there and nothing so you gotta said just uh, these ridges here will hold the thing together once it butts up against our system so you're just going enough just to keep the whole thing together now see I can still need to crank this thing down you crank this thing down I guarantee you're gonna cut the life of this thing by you know 100% yeah, probably yeah. got one more yeah. a little tight yeah. all right but when you when it's screwed up or it's worn out it, it hit it hit against something, it'll stop spinning. You stripped yeah. it at that point. So you, right, if you, if you just want to take it off. So we're just going to use the one. Okay. I'd like to have two. You got to do what you got to do. Hey, hey, hey. Get the raise out of it. All right, so we're at max right now. All right, so we're a little bit over 80. It'll drop down to about 30 or 40 once we open the, the valve on the other side. You gotta be able to sustain at least 25, 30 PSI operating PSI once it starts moving. If you can't sustain that much, you got a problem. You don't have enough air to, to get a good coating on the rope. Um, so we got that set. If, you got, if you're doing a long run, we're just doing a little short run, but if you're doing a long run, put some air tool oil in the reservoir here. All right, and you can, there's a there's an Allen or a screwdriver thing you can set in there to set how fast it percolates. It's like a like an old-fashioned coffee pot, and you gotta you gotta have the lubricant, the, the air tool oil going through there. You do, at this point, we're gonna open it up. We're gonna watch the discharge. Right there. And we're gonna wait. We might see some coming out of the, the seal. Also. Now you see that? Chamber's full. We got a good seal. We got the right size seal on there because you know it's not going everywhere. Now you can really see here that I've lightened up the load on the grease. You can see the bare metal there as the groover tore off that crack. All right, when do you want to work the valve here? You can see how... how Yeah. Don't come out of the water. <laughs> 
No, come and check out this piece that's coming up. It's a big one. There it is. How fast is that grab on right there? 20, 32 per minute. Pretty slow. Uh -huh. So I got this at about 40, about, about half a tenth. That's where the air fuel will help. Hey man, that's neat. That's fantastic. Get that on camera. That is fantastic. There you go. You like that? <laughs> yeah. Stack them in big loads. So uh, they taper down as you get down to the bottom couple inches. You can't get it. You can't get it. So yeah. sometimes you got to scoop that out and put it in the next pail. You want to avoid putting used grease into a new pail, but this stuff will be okay. You want to keep it keep it yeah. as clean and pure as you can. Mm -hmm. It's very important to keep it.